गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट मैडम द बेल विच हैज बीन मूवड जस्ट नाउ हैज बीन राइटली डिस्क्राइब्ड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एज ए नॉन कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल बिल एंड एज ए बिल विच इज वेरी यूजफुल इन ऑर्डर टू डेवलप द एटॉमिक एनर्जी इन आवर कंट्री द बिल प्रोवाइड्स फॉर द रेगुलेशन ऑफ रेडियो एक्टिव एंड अदर प्रेस्क्राइब्ड सब्सटेंसेज विच आर टू बी यूज विच आर बींग हैंडल्ड विच माइट बी प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड विच माइट बी इम्पोर्टेड सो दैट देयर मे नॉट बी एनी हैजर्ड्स विच आर इंसिडेंटल टू द हैंडलिंग ऑफ सच सब्सटेंसेज एंड एडिकुएट rules are to be made regarding them as far as these rule making powers are concerned madam there is one aspect of it which needs some consideration namely as far as the production of these substances in the country itself is concerned the establishments in which these substances are going to be produced are to be governed and controlled as far as the safety measures are concerned and as far as the factory acts are concerned by the central government as far as this provision is concerned it is desirable because these are not just ordinary factories but these are factories that have to deal with certain substances for which special protection is necessary and perhaps the atomic energy commission is the right authority to determine what type of protection is necessary for that at the same time in the rule making power which the central government has taken precautions should be taken to see that the safety measures regarding other aspects of the matter as far as the work of the labor in these factories is concerned are also of the same standard if not of a better standard as these provided for the factories act elsewhere that is attention should not be concentrated only on the hazards incidental to the handling of these substances but other amenities to which the workers are entitled in ordinary factories should also be provided for in any rules that might be made under this measure along with this precaution this power is absolutely necessary and therefore i support the same secondly there is the question of acquiring certain materials which might yield useful substances that are necessary for the development of atomic energy the idea perhaps is to get all these materials within the control of the atomic energy commission because these substances 
are very rare and they are to be conserved this raises the question of research and the facilities for inquiry which might be available to an ordinary citizen who may not be fortunate enough to have some employment or admission into these atomic energy establishments it is perhaps one of the conditions of modern life that any scientific research and inquiry involve dangerous implications so that they are to be controlled and coordinated under the aegis of the government and to that extent perhaps the freedom of inquiry might be affected but at the same time the history of scientific development has shown that all the worthwhile inquiries or many of the worthwhile inquiries and inventions have been made by the people who are not easily amenable to any coordination or regulation of the type to which the government is normally accustomed and therefore some scope has to be left for free inquiry by these geniuses in the community also i do not know how that can be done but perhaps one way of doing it will be disseminate as much of scientific information as is possible in the community to the largest possible extent so that at least as far as the paper work is concerned no one is handicapped i am just a layman and i am not quite acquainted with the various types of developments that are going on regarding the issues connected with the development of atomic energy but there seems to be some indication that any worthwhile jump that will now come in this particular field is likely to be on the theoretical plane because as far as the practical aspects are concerned we have reached a dead end and it is not possible to go beyond that in view of this it is all the more necessary that as far as the theory is concerned and as far as the basic material connected with this theory is concerned it is disseminated to the largest possible extent in our community so that our people may become conscious of the type of work that is going on and of the type of work that is needed in order to make further progress in this field and various other fields in this country thirdly there is the question of acquiring certain mineral rights as far as these substances are concerned here again it is necessary that the authority should be centralized and obviously it would be in the hands of the central government and the atomic energy commission but again this also raises the further question of paying adequate attention to the interests of the states that are concerned in whose areas these mines are located